All right, this is problem number 37 of uh, chapter 33 of uh, Physics for Scientists and Engineers by uh, Knight, second edition. Um, I drew out this uh, uh, wiring schematic that they give you in the problem. Um, the question, uh, kind of abbreviated, is um, they want to know what value of resistor here to choose uh, uh, s such that um, the the force between these two parallel wires here um, is 5.4 times 10 to the negative fifth newtons. Um, so let's go ahead and um, talk about where this force is coming from. Um, I drew two parallel wires here, if you can imagine, and um, if you look at how the, the currents flow through this circuit, let me choose something like red for those. All right, if you have this current is going this way, this is the positive side of the battery. So if I1 is going to be flowing that, it's going to be flowing down through this parallel wire. And you have I2 over here, it's going to be flowing down through this parallel wire. So uh, this is going to be the left hand kind of three finger thing rule. Um, so if your current is flowing this way through this wire here, let me draw it down at this end. So if your current's flowing that way, um, and the force you're interested in is between the wires, so that would actually be the force of the wires acting on each other. Uh, let me change colors. So your force would be in that direction. Um, and uh, if you kind of do this thing, uh, this rule with the index finger pointing in the direction of the current um, and your middle finger pointing down in the direction of the force, the B field is going to be pointing up out of my uh, my white surface here. Um, and then for the bottom wire, if you have that current going in the same direction, and your force of interest is going to be in the opposite direction, right, because you want the force of the wire acting on uh, um, this wire acting on this wire now, um, this will actually be going into uh, the the writing surface here. So it'll actually, if you drew this two-dimensionally, it would be like um, a bunch of X's surrounding this wire, all right, and a bunch of dots on this wire uh, to get the force that wire and that wire. Okay, so there's just a little theory there. Um, so let's, uh, our, 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 we have a formula for determining um, the force between a wire and a another B field. Um, that's going to be, actually let me go back to the black, that shows up pretty good on this. So the F equals I1 times length times the B field of 2. Um, well, we can express the B field of 2 as uh, mu naught times uh, this current I2 divided by 2 pi d. Uh, so what you do is you just combine these um, and you're going to end up with F equals mu naught L I1 I2 let's keep all of our eyes capitalized they're easier to see uh, divided by 2 pi D um, now we can start looking at what we know we know the length we know mu naught that's just constant uh, we know our distance D is going to be the distance between the wires that's labeled at 5 millimeters um, the length was 10 centimeters it's kind of hard to see there and we know I1, we, at least we can determine it, uh, using Ohm's law. We have a 9 volt battery and a 2 ohm resistor and that's the circuit. Um, so we could just uh, determine I1 as um, voltage over resistance which equals 9 volts over 2 ohms which is just 4.5 amps. All right. So the only thing we don't know in this equation is I2, uh, and from I2 we can figure out what we want to use for that resistor. Um, so let's go ahead and rearrange the problem. 
uh, you could solve for I2 and you have I2 equals uh, the force which we know we want, okay, force 2 pi d over mu naught l i1 um, and then if we throw in what we know everything here gets filled out and uh, don't forget that mu naught is uh, 4 pi times 10 to the negative 7th so the pi cancels and you actually are just uh, left with a 2 in the bottom uh, and then the, this 2 up here cancels as well so we have 5.4 times 10 to the negative fifth newtons uh, let's see times we'll just write all that in and cancel it out 2 pi times uh, we need to keep our 5 millimeters in meters so that's going to be times point zero point zero zero five meters and then I'm going to use a straight edge because I can't draw straight lines. Hey, there we go. It came out nice. Um, and then mu naught would be 4 pi times 10 to the negative 7th times our length, which was 10 centimeters, which in meters is 0 times 0 0.1 meters times our I1 which was 4.5 amps. Alright, so um, once again the 2 pi here cancels with this and that just equals a 2. So you run this through your calculator, it's just a big number crunch and you end up with 3 amps. Alright, so we want I2 to equal 3 amps. And then the last part is just simple Ohm's law. You uh, solve Ohm's law for resistance. You go R equals uh, voltage divided by current. Uh, we have a 9 volt battery on that circuit over there. So we go n equals 9 volts divided by 3 amps. Which means we need a resistor here of 3 ohms. And that's basically it, yeah. So this current goes this way, this current goes this way, and the forces are forces that are attracting the two wires together. And that force we um, wanted was four point, oh, excuse me, 5.4 times 10 to the negative fifth newtons. All right, that's it.